Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my bed slide that I built. Now I'm not going to take full credit for this. I did see another YouTube video. The guy built pretty much exactly the same thing. I changed a few things on it, but I figured I'd make my own. Give it a shot. I've been eyeballing the bed slides from Decked, as I'm sure some of you have seen. Probably was going to run about 2700 so I figured I'd build one, see if I liked it, then maybe get the real thing, or just stick with this. Um, this took me around two hours to build and about 150 bucks in materials, so not bad at all. And uh, some of you guys might have some of this just laying around scrap wood as well. And it'd be a lot less to make, obviously. So anyways, I've got some stuff on here just as like uh, an example to show you how it works. So a lot of guys um, that have trucks, I'm sure all of you do pretty much. It sucks when you need something up front, right? You either got to get up into the truck bed or if your truck's high, you can't even reach over. Sometimes you can, right? So that's what this does. I'm sure you guys know how the bed slide works, but let me show you how it works and uh, we'll go from there. So as you can see, it moves pretty easily. Um, it's all on ball bearings. It's not too much effort at all. So now, you know, if I wanted to grab this, oh look, I can get this pretty easy now. Great, unload, load up. It's perfect, right? Um, it's sitting on ball bearings, works pretty well. Got these nice handles to pull it out. And it moves, like I said, pretty easy. So I'll kind of just talk about how I built it a little bit. Um, on the bottom here, you'll notice a piece of plywood. Now I have not screwed this down to the truck bed yet, mounted it. That's the next goal that way. Once you, cause when you do get it really loaded and you pull it out all the way, um, it does tip up a little bit just cause it's not secured. But anyways, so you got one piece of plywood, right? And then you get these ball bearings. These are from Harbor Freight. They're just like a mounted ball bearing. They're like a dollar 36 a piece or something like that. I can't remember. They're not more than a dollar something. And uh, I got 16 of those. I did four rows of four. And then on the sides here, this ledger, and I'll, I'll bring this up close in a minute to show you, but this ledger is just a one by six deck board, standard deck board. I screwed it from the bottom. Um, and then I just put a little lip here. I, I ripped down a scrap deck board to one inch and put that here, mounted into the piece of de uh, decking here. Then what you do after that is you take your next piece of plywood and you cut it down to size to fit within the side brackets here. And then you're just gonna rip another deck board. The difference of here, leave a little gap, that way it slides. And that's what allows it to operate. And then I just put these two little handles and that's it. That's how it works. Nothing to it really, it's super simple. Saved me a lot of money, I love it so far. My goal with it is to put some pack out mounts in the back. I'm currently building out my pack out trailer for the handyman business side of things. So I'm going to put pack outs in here, make that easy and just click and go. Um, I'm loving it so far. It's made my life a lot easier, especially with this tonneau cover. I love leaving that on, keeps my tools dry and safe and whatnot. And um, I've seen a lot of guys, they run the hard caps. That's something that would be really nice with this system. I think that's definitely the way to do it. But for now, this is working great and I love it. And uh, like I said, I just wanted to share it with you. So I'll bring it up closer here, show you a little bit closer in detail how it works. But this is it. Hope this helps you out. So coming up close here, um, as I was telling you, kind of just show this. So. As you can see here, here are the ball bearings and they're just mounted. Can't move it like that. Here they're just mounted and they just roll. You can just screw them right in there. Hopefully you can see. And then just on the sideboards here is just the standard decking. It's just a standard decking board. I didn't even rip this down at all. I just cut it to length of my truck bed here. And um, as far as the bottom two by four or plywood, all I had to do is cut it to length. The width was perfect to fit in between my wheel wells here. Uh, there's a little gap on each end, so it's not bad at all. It's using most of the truck bed. And then um, you just have your rails here. Like I said, you put this little one inch. And then this one just fits inside this channel. Now this channel did cut a little bit wider than I wanted. And that's because these, deck these boards that I got, these plywood, you see how it bows like this? That is, um, that's not exactly what I was going for, but they were the nicest uh, piece of plywood I could find at Lowe's. You know how that goes. And um, 
So if you can find straighter boards, you can get a more precise cut. That's just, you gotta have room to allow it to move. But then you also, once you get it pulled out, you can see here, that's what stops it from coming all the way out. So you really want it as tight as possible. And it doesn't really matter too much like that. You can see that's just what allows it to dip. So if it was tighter, it'd be straighter, not a big deal. And there's not a ton of weight on this usually anyways, but yeah, that's it. I probably am gonna paint it to match. Like I said, put pack outs on it. And yeah, let me know if this helps. Any questions, let me know in the comments, whatever, but pretty cool. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, thanks.